Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be showing you how to make these lovely, cute little garden labels for your garden inside or outside. Go ahead and begin by taking your IOD conservatory mold and a quick casting resin. Select which of the labels will best fit the font that you want to use from our IOD apothecary label set. And you're going to do a one-to-one -one ratio for the parts A and B for the resin. Make sure that you mix very, very, very well or else it will not set correctly. I learned that the hard way. But we just used a regular kitchen scale and a calculator so that you won't have any leftover resin and you won't have to waste any leftover resin. So you want to make sure that the resin is an opaque white and it is still warm so that when you punch in the hole, it will go smoothly and won't risk breaking your label in half. You want to look at the size of your metal stake that you're going to be fishing through the hole later on and choose a nail that is closer to that size or bigger than that size. Go ahead and use a hammer to make the hole. We find this much easier than trying to create a hole during the cure. We figured this out through trial and error, so take it from us. It's just a lot less time consuming. Remove the nail from the hole and smooth out your label if it bent at all during the process. If it's still warm, this part should be pretty simple. To buy the same exact metal stakes that we are using in this video, make sure to check out the link in the description. Now we are going to begin the painting process. Using an artist fine brush, we chose a classic black chalk paint and we did two coats for the most coverage. Remember that there are so many different kinds and brands of paint out there for you to use. Head to ironorchidesigns.com and find our stockist locator to get with a local stockist and figure out which kind and brand of paint is best for you. Now go ahead and take your IOD apothecary labels. We found that the plastic sheet that peels off from the back works as a great thin mount. We decided on creating labels for an herb garden, so we went with the words basil, oregano, and thyme. Go ahead and arrange your letters on your makeshift thin mount. Using the brayer tool, go ahead and apply some white chalk paint and smooth gently onto your letters. If the paint on your brayer tool is too thick, like ours here, you can offload some of the paint on an extra paper plate or a paper towel before applying to your stamp. Go ahead and hover briefly to make sure that you are okay with your alignment and commit. You want to press down evenly, but when you are using paint instead of ink, you don't want to press so hard that you lose that definition of the letters. So just enough for a clean application. Go ahead and finish up all your labels and allow to dry. When stamping a word and you have a repeated letter, you want to stamp all of the letters excluding that second repeated letter making sure to leave a gap in its place. Once you have that stamped, reapply your paint and fill in the gap with that second letter. For more stamping tips and techniques, check out our Stamping 101 on ironorganddesigns.com. Once all of your labels are stamped, using that same white chalk paint and a small artist brush, gently go over the highlights on your mold to bring out all of those little details. It really does make a big difference and it adds a lot more uniqueness. It makes it look more vintage, which overall makes your garden look so much more unique. Go ahead and apply an exterior sealer. We are using the general finishes sealer, but check with your local stockist to see if they can recommend something that can hold up to the outdoors and that is perfect for you. And go ahead and allow to dry. Once you are complete, go ahead and take that garden stake from earlier and fish it through the hole. Once you are done with that, this project is complete. We hope that you enjoyed and we hope that your garden is just 10 times cuter. Of course, we know it will be. Go ahead and follow for more DIY tutorials.